Hi, it's Katrina. From enormous predatory birds that could pummel their prey to animals scientists are trying to bring back to life, here are 10 extinct creatures you should definitely know about. Number 10. The Giant Swan Cygnus falconeri, also known as the Maltese swan or the giant swan, is an extremely large, extinct swan species that lived during the Pleistocene period, around 125,000 years ago, when Malta and Sicily were connected by a land bridge. Researchers originally thought that it only lived in Malta, but in 2004, giant swan remains were discovered in Sicily. According to a 1982 study authored by E. Marjorie Northcott from the University of Cambridge, the giant swan had little or no flying ability, rather it was a land-feeding bird well adapted for walking. Luckily, flying was not necessary for escaping large predators as there were none in Malta at the time. Based on a comparison with the bones of modern species, Northcott estimated that the giant swan's wingspan measured up to 10 feet and that it weighed as much as 35 pounds. It may have been as tall as the dwarf elephants that lived in its region. And you know swans are pretty, but they can be really freaking aggressive. Climate change, competition, and predation are all possible factors in the giant swan's extinction. It's likely it was incapable of surviving rapid environmental changes that came along with the onset of an interglacial period. Number 9. Carbonemis Discovered in northeastern Colombia's Cerrejón Formation in 2005 and known by a single specimen, Carbonemis cofrini is an extinct turtle that dwelled in South American swamps during the Paleocene era around 60 million years ago. The ancient turtle shared a habitat with the Titanoboa, you know, the one-ton prehistoric snake. It grew to the size of a small car, reaching up to 10 feet long and weighing as much as one ton. Carbonemis was equipped with shockingly powerful jaws and most likely fed on large mammals and reptiles, including crocodiles. But in this world where everything seems to have been extremely large, the turtle-slash-car was not immune to becoming another creature's dinner. Carbonemis was also not the largest turtle to ever exist. Two extinct Carboniferous species, which existed millions of years earlier, exceeded it in size. Archelon, a North American ocean-dwelling turtle that measured up to 12 feet long, and Protostega, also a North American species, each weighed up to 2 tons, twice as much as Carbonemis. Number 8. Purusaurus Purusaurus brasiliensis was a giant, caiman-like crocodilian that flourished primarily in northwestern South America during the middle to late Miocene. It was around 41 feet long, longer than a city bus, and weighed around 9.3 tons. The creature's skull alone was up to 5 feet long, and it required a massive diet of up to 90 pounds of food daily. Of course, gotta keep up that massive weight. To keep up with its dietary needs, P. brasiliensis was an apex predator that ate a wide range of prey, including very large vertebrates. It was equipped with conical teeth designed for gripping and ripping up large prey and 7.7 .7 tons or more of bite force. This bite force was up to twice as strong as that of a T-Rex and as much as 20 times stronger than the great white shark. So Purusaurus versus the T-Rex, who wins? The Purusaurus and the Tyrannosaurus lived in different ages, but there is no doubt that the Purusaurus would have won a fight between the two of them, Aline Gilardi, co-author of a 2015 study on the creature, told BBC Brazil. The ancient supercroc's gargantuan body size may have been an evolutionary adaptation in response to competition and was advantageous when it came to hunting, but it ultimately contributed to the creature's downfall by making it especially vulnerable to environmental changes. Studies in recent years have yielded valuable information about the life and demise of P. brasiliensis, but scientists admittedly still know very little about this tough species. And now for number 7, but first a big thank you to Martin McNamara and Ride Woods for their nice comments! Big shout out to them, and if you are new here, be sure to subscribe and let us know your favorite extinct creature in the comments below. Number 7. Stellar Sea Cow Hydrodomalus gigas, or the stellar sea cow, is a marine mammal related to Cyrenians, which includes the modern-day dugong and manatee, as well as two other surviving species. Unlike today's Cyrenians, which dwell in tropical waters, the extinct stellar cow lived in the frigid North Pacific Ocean between Alaska and Russia. This subarctic creature was also much larger than modern Cyrenians, reaching up to 33 feet long and weighing as much as 12 tons. It had no teeth and feasted on seagrass, and was equipped with bizarre stubby forelimbs that lacked fingers or hooves. 
They were monogamous, social, and mourned their dead, according to National Geographic. German explorer George Steller discovered the sea cow in 1741. Less than 30 years later, in 1768, the species went extinct due to overhunting. The most complete stellar sea cow skeleton ever found is housed at the Finnish Museum of Natural History in Helsinki. Number 6. Terror Birds Once the Velociraptor and T-Rex were wiped out 66 million years ago, the terror bird took over the world! Not really, but they were pretty scary and were one of the most terrifying predators of what is now South America and stayed that way until about 2 million years ago. Their beak was so strong it could cut a spinal cord in half. They ranged from 3 to 9 feet in height with feet like Tyrannosaurus, large heavy heads, and long flexible necks. This allowed them to deal massive damage when they struck, which they could do with impressive speed. Most mammals in South America at the time were herbivores, so the terror birds had basically a buffet of animals to choose from. Terror birds' skull bones were fused together, unlike other birds, basically making a rigid, effective weapon that could help pummel prey to death. 12 to 15 million years ago, the land bridge that is now Central America was created connecting North and South America. Animals began to migrate across, known as the Great American Interchange. One of the species that made it across was the Titanus. It was the last of the terror birds, as big as an ostrich and with a peck that could knock your head off. They lived for about 7 million years alongside saber-toothed cats and other predators until they eventually went extinct. Number 5. Anomalocaris 500 million years ago during the Cambrian period, Anomalocaris, an apex predator resembling a strange combination of a shrimp, shark, and a seahorse, lived in the world's oceans. At the time, life on planet Earth was limited to the seas. Anomalocaris had a fanned tail and large spiked arms that it used for grabbing prey before biting into its target with its square, tooth-filled mouth. It was up to three feet or about a meter long and had large, stalked eyes, which came in handy for tracking its victims. When fossilized body parts belonging to the animal were first discovered, scientists believed they belonged to several different species. In late 2011, researcher John Paterson from the University of New England discovered what he believed were fossilized eyes belonging to Anomalocaris. The finding potentially means that the creature had extremely acute vision that far superseded any modern insects. Before Paterson made the discovery in South Australia, researchers only knew of the animal's eyes from fossilized outlines. The pear-shaped, 2-centimeter-long eyes had a similar structure to those of today's arthropods, with each possessing an estimated 16,700 individual lenses. Anomalocaris would have seen its world with exceptional clarity whilst hunting in well-lit waters, he told Discover magazine. It would have had close to 360-degree vision. A lot remains unknown about the creature's anatomy and other aspects of the species, including its eating habits. To most experts, it was an apex predator, a fierce hunter capable of biting into trilobites. But other scientists say that its mouth would have been too weak. James Whitey Hagedorn, a paleontologist at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, reconstructed Anomalocaris's ancient mouth parts after examining 400 fossils. Maybe this vicious shrimp wasn't as tough as we thought. Number 4. Elasmotherium this Siberian unicorn was an Ice Age giant and lived at the same time as modern humans. Elasmotherium sibiricum, otherwise known as the giant rhinoceros or the giant Siberian unicorn, is an extinct Eurasian rhino species that lived from 2.6 million years ago until about 39,000 years ago. It spent its days grazing the grasslands of modern-day Kazakhstan, Siberia, and southwestern Russia and Ukraine. At up to 3.9 tons, the giant rhino weighed up to twice as much as modern species, and it carried it well, as scientists believe it was a fast runner. It had an estimated average length of 15 feet and was around 6.5 feet tall. The creature was covered in hair and had a large horn protruding from its forehead, hence the nickname Giant Siberian Unicorn. Until somewhat recently, researchers believed the giant rhino went extinct between 200,000 and 100,000 years ago. A 2018 study which involved dating 23 E. Sibiricum specimens has moved that date up to the late Quaternary Megafaunal Extinction Event, which also wiped out other large species including the woolly mammoth and the saber-toothed cat. When early humans were around, there wouldn't have been very many left. Perhaps the legends of unicorns were passed down by our ancient ancestors who lived alongside these rare creatures. Stories of the unicorn have been around for thousands of years, and while the description of the animal has changed, the long, singular horn has always been present. What do you think about this theory? Let me know in the comments below! Number 3. Arctotherium angustidens 
Also called the South American short-faced bear, it was the largest bear that ever existed. First described in 1880, it was one of five Arctotherium species and was descended from ancestors that crossed the Panamanian land bridge to South America roughly three million years ago. During its time on Earth, it was the largest and most powerful terrestrial carnivore. A 2011 study which re-examined an Arctotherium skeleton that was discovered in Buenos Aires in 1935 found that the species stood as much as 11 feet tall on its hind legs and weighed up to 3,500 pounds. Researchers Blaine Schubert and Leopoldo Soy Belzon, both paleontologists, calculated the bear's bodily proportions based on its elephant-sized humerus. Furthermore, they discovered that the skeleton belonged to an older male who had endured numerous injuries throughout his lifetime. The South American short-faced bear was much different from the North American species. It shrank over time while the North American bear gradually grew, and the scientists are unsure why. They also don't know what the South American short-haired bear ate. Schubert theorized that it started out as an apex predator with abundant prey, but as other carnivores evolved, it gained competition, leading to its reduced size. But exactly why this bear went extinct remains a mystery. Number 2. The Great Auk The Great Auk was a flightless bird that resembled a modern penguin, but at 30 inches tall, it was more scary than cute. It had disproportionately small wings measuring just 6 inches long and a beak nearly as large as its head. This species, which was unrelated to penguins despite looking like one, bred off the North Atlantic coast on rocky islands. Humans hunted the great auk mainly for its down feathers and fat and had a major hand in its extinction. Official protection for the bird was first enacted as early as 1533, but these efforts were unfortunately in vain. Sailors and fishermen would kill the birds and take the eggs, limiting their chances at survival. Nesting colonies along the European side of the Atlantic were all but eliminated by the mid-16th century. Nevertheless, governments continued trying to save the great auk. In 1775, anyone caught herding an auk would be beaten in public. Great Britain banned killing the bird for its down in 1794. Three sailors discovered one of the last surviving great auks in 1840 off the coast of the Scottish island of St. Kilda. They killed it since they thought it was bad luck. The last known surviving great auks were killed in Elde Island, Iceland in 1844, according to Encyclopedia Britannica. In recent years, scientists have been trying to bring the great auk back to life. The Revive and Restore Project, a nonprofit organization dedicated to de-extinction, hopes to edit the genetic information of the bird's closest living relative, the razorbill, with great auk DNA. If successful, the next step would be to breed colonies and reintroduce the species to the wild. Number 1. Glyptodon The glyptodon is an extinct prehistoric armadillo the size of a car, with a spiky clubbed tail that was capable of causing extensive damage. It grew up to 10 feet long, weighed as much as 1 ton, and had an armored back made up of 1,000 or so tightly fitted bony plates. The creature emerged around 5.3 million years ago and lived throughout modern-day North and South America. The species adapted well to a surprising variety of environments, including grasslands, tropical habitats, plains, and even cold climates. Although it existed alongside ancient humans, it was eventually forgotten about in our collective memory after it went extinct 11,700 years ago. An Uruguayan naturalist rediscovered the glyptodon in 1823 when he found a terrifyingly massive 8-inch thick 7-pound femur. The subsequent discovery of bony plates led scientists to realize that a giant armadillo once existed. Its name, glyptodon, means grooved tooth. However intimidating the glyptodon may seem, it was an herbivore and was likely not dangerous to our ancestors. But it was best not to get too close, because its large bony tail could easily and swiftly shatter a human skull. Thanks for watching! Would you like to learn more about fascinating extinct animals? Let me know in the comments below, and while you're at it, be sure to subscribe! See you next time! Bye!